how's it going? I'm Marlena and thanks for wandering by. So I got this idea from um, some of the other tarot tubers who have done this recently, which is a desk tour. So welcome to my desk tour. Um, I thought it would just be a fun little video to do. I've been feeling sick um, this past few days and um, I did want to share with you this week but I don't have um, the energy to do like a whole big involved um, video so we'll just quickly show you my desk. Um, so I share um, now I share this space with um, my daughter but this is my my space right now <laughs> in this room. I used to um, have like things on the walls in here, but since we moved, I haven't really gotten back into it. Um, but this is a desk that I inherited from my mother. And this desk was um, built for her. It's made of like Norwegian wood and she wanted to get rid of it. And I was like, no, please. Oh my gosh. Like I love this desk and I want it. And so I've had it for a few years now. Um, and didn't really get, um, like the most use out of it until the last couple of years. So let's just like walk over, see, that's my daughter sharing, sharing space with the kiddo. So maybe I'll just sit down. So here we have um, Kuan Yin and my prayer or mala beads or devotional um, to her. And then behind that, this is um, just one of those little, you know, crystal, trees that um and i got that at my local metaphysical um store i have this um selenite um this is a selenite sphere and i got that on a road trip um those are my um back here that is my borg and my cylon on top of a um that's a uh what do you call it? Um, incense burner, like that palm tree. I think I got that at five below, but my little guys, um, with the Borg I got from a student, <laughs> uh, and the Cylon I had gotten from a student and I had to replace cause it was stolen. And, um, this is, um, this is La, La Santa Muerte and I have her on, she doesn't like to stand up, but I have her on a, um, on a bed of the beautiful, I'll have to put, I can't remember the name of this Etsy shop where I got her right now, but I'll definitely put it in the, um, description box below. And, um, I laid her with all of the beautiful things that came inside the packaging with these dried flowers and this peacock feather. And, um, yeah, that's, it's, I'm feeling a little nervous, like sharing this with you. Cause I, this is something I don't usually put on camera, but yeah. So that's my Santa Muerte. And then here I have, I'll put the, I got this from an Etsy shop as well. This too. And, and my Kuan Yin, um, this is a, this is a, another incense holder that has a tree on it that I got from my local metaphysical store as well. These are um, my, what I like to think of as my primordial goddesses. Um, and so they represent the four elements though. Um, so fire, water, air, and earth. Um, and they have, each have a crystal. When they came in the box, they had like, it tells you the name of the crystal and it assigned a specific goddess to it. But I, I kind of reinterpreted them for myself as like primordial goddesses and then here I have um my triple goddess I think this is like a business card holder that I got and then um, I'm working with this tarot deck right now the mountain dream so my desk has all these beautiful little um you know um cubbies and holes and things and so I keep all of my decks and the things that I'm working with. So that's like the Journal of the Lonely Soul because um, I'm working on that practice right now. So I'm just giving you the tour of the, the bottom shelf. Uh, Margaret Peterson always hangs out here. This is the new 
in um, infinity, um, tarot of the whole spectrum infinity. And then um, depending on what I have, like, you know, uh, going on out here, I don't necessarily use like these, um, these like drawers and stuff. Sometimes I do. So then here I have, um, let's see this. Oh, this is my hematite um that was gifted to me by a friend um this is so this is the card that i just happen to have out now for my week of my um monthly medicine some crystals another gift from a beautiful friend of mine and then this this card holder i got on amazon <laughs> um and I love it so I always have I like to have crystals I rearrange my crystals and this and like the configuration of this desk like what's out here often um this is oh he had he broke his he broke one of his um ears there but this is an owl that um a friend of mine from college gifted to me when they went to Greece and this is my um my bell for cl a sound cleansing. Um, this is, let me see and get it on. So this is a, um, a, a knife that my partner cre um, he made, he made the, um, the wood, um, covering for, and I only have one hand, so I can't really open it to show you the blade, but he did. Yeah, there you go. You can sort of see, but he, um, carved uh and he made this case for it and the handle and everything um beautiful right yeah he's kind of amazing and stuff like that and then that's like an old um candle tapered candle holder um that i think i inherited from my mother-in-law maybe and then i've got some crystals in there you might have seen this as like a accoutrement on my channel there's some more crystals um pillar crystals and then this is an uh, skull um ashtray that i got really recently and then all my little baby <laughs> my so weird aren't i weird my little baby skulls live inside this one now um, and then this is, so that's a magnifying glass, which I'm going to move aside so it doesn't reflect what I look like right now. <laughs> and then this moon, um, you know, this crescent moon I got uh, from Amazon, I think, or an Etsy shop. I'll, I'll link to this kind of stuff below. Um, and then I got that a long time ago, this, um, wall hanging I got a long time ago at Anthropology from Anthropology. I better be careful because it's fallen off a couple times. That is the, the dot, the echo dot thing there. Um, oh, I just recently got in a giveaway the Divine Muses. I'll be talking about that probably at some point. This box houses all of these special decks that I inherited from my mother-in-law, my grandmother, um, and my partner's grandmother and great-grandmother. Um, so up here, I just have the decks that I'm working with this week, this month, probably this month. You'll see like, these are my I Ching books, intuitive tarot. So yeah, some of these, yeah, these are just out here. Um, and then I put, so I got these two different, like they're like mail um, holders, letter opener, letter holders envelope holders and I got I started with one and then I went back and got a second one so I could have these out so that I could put the decks that I'm working with so currently these are my three I Ching decks because that's what I'm working on right now uh working with right now and then here's the Lion Strider Tarot and the Astral no sorry Avatar Oracle and those are the decks I'm working with right now this is the journal sorry the journey of a lonely soul Oracle so that stays out there then I keep my journals here um this is the bag for the mountain dream I've got a stone a Celtic cross box and and it has enough space for a tarot deck and I put my tarot um my very first tarot universal weight in there this i've shown you before that's my that has my I Ching 
queens. <laughs> this is, oh my goodness, here, I'll bring it down here. Oh my God, this is gonna be a terrible video, but this is, my daughter made this for me. <laughs> and it has, she took from her toys and created um, tarot tools. So it has a cup, this was Barbie's. Um, and I think this was Shira's sword. And then she took a token and colored it to be a pentacle <laughs> and a wand. I don't know where this wand came from. Maybe it was one of Ryan's toys, something like that. <laughs> so I keep it in this little candle holder for now. Those are my tarot tools that I have on my desk. And then that is a, oh, this is my rust colored stone from Colorado. And that is a postcard of Looking Glass Falls when I went to Asheville, the first time I ever saw a waterfall. And then in here, oh, yeah, no, that's my grandmother's playing cards. And then I keep, um, I guess I took all my crystals out. I had kept all my crystals in there for a little while. So yeah, let me just back up again. So I backed up just to show you the desk again in its full glory. Oh, I have, um, I guess I can show you inside the drawers real quick. So I just like to put my markers <laughs> on this, on either side so that when I'm sitting here, my pens and markers are in, oh, sorry for the, um, my pens and markers go here on either side so that when I'm sitting, I can just grab them. And then in the center, I don't think I'm going to even open that because that drawer likes to stick. <laughs> but that's it. That's my desk tour. This is my reading table and journaling spot. Um, yeah. So thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for joining me for this lovely little desk tour. And I um, hope that you all have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.